Life is a mystery. Sometimes life slams us in the gut. Dealing with such a devastating blow, it literally takes our breath away. A pandemic hits. A loved one gets ill. We lose a breadwinning job. Someone we know dies. Money gets tight. Feelings of depression and despondency overwhelm our better judgment. Everything that seems to be going wrong, goes wrong. I have been there. Last two years, I've lost everything I ever worked for for all my life and lost all the people that I've ever loved. God stripped me bare to the bone to make me focus only on Him. I have and I've had nobody else to turn to than only God. You can't write a testimony, my friend, without ever being tested. So what can we do when the world around us shatters and we can't seem to pick up the pieces? What do you do when the God you pray to seems not to be hearing? The times when things are falling apart are precisely the best times to practice presence and mindfulness. These are the times we are always preparing for in our way when we pray, meditate, self-reflect, and generally invest in our personal growth during the good times. Truth be told, when the world seems to be crumbling, there is immense opportunity, but we must be willing to do some tough things. We must be willing to change our perspective and our response. My question to you is, are you ready to do that? First, let us practice laying a solid foundation. Be patient with the pain that you feel. Don't hide from it. Don't rush to cover it up or fix it immediately. Just start by acknowledging its presence and facing it with courage. Then challenge yourself to sit quietly with what you are feeling for a full minute without compassion and gentleness. Be at peace with the source of your pain. Find the braveness within to just sit with it like you would with a close friend who is hurting. Practice this a few times a day. Whenever you feel the pulse of your pain surging, and notice when your mind wants to run, hide or rebel. When this happens, take a deep breath. And breathe out. Recenter yourself and then begin again. Eventually, you will see clearly that what you feel is just a feeling and that you can stay with that feeling without the world ending. You'll see that you are in control of your feelings and not the other way around. And you will begin to take them less seriously, hold them lightly and give them some much needed space in your worried brain. When the world is shattering, this is the time to practice. This is the time that you've been practicing for. This is the time when you believed what God promised you in the light. Believing it in the dark is the true, true expression of faith.